What is up guys? So if you have landed on this video, you are a little bit teeny weeny confused about lenses. Well, don't worry, I was too when I started. Prime, zoom, telephoto, fisheye, wide angle, ultra wide angle, blah, 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 blah. So many terminologies, right? Don't worry, let's take them one by one. Based on focal length, lenses are categorized into telephoto lenses, standard lenses and wide angle lenses. Now, telephoto lenses are lenses with a focal length of 85mm and above. They are further divided into a few categories like short telephoto lenses, which are from 85mm to 135mm, the medium telephoto lenses, which are from 135mm to 300mm, and the super telephoto lenses, which are above 300mm. All these guys give you a narrow field of view. Telephoto lenses are mainly used for subjects which are far off, example in wildlife, sports, etc. So if you want to shoot a narrow field of view, which we usually prefer in wildlife photography, then you need to focus on these. For mammals, uh, lenses like 70-200, 100-400, 200-600, 400 are perfect. And if you're into birding too, then anything above 400mm would suffice. Another thing, these lenses are perfect if you're a beginner, intermediate or even a professional level photographer. But if you're someone who is yet to start and you're not looking forward to invest a great deal in your first lens, then there are other options like 55 to 50, 75 to 300, 70 to 300, etc. which can come to your rescue. Now let's talk about lenses below 85mm. Lenses from 35mm to 85mm are called standard lenses, like this one here. It is a 50mm lens, often called a nifty 50. Now, why standard? That is because these lenses give you the standard field of view, the one that you're actually looking at in the field. These guys are super versatile. You can use them for street photography, portrait, travel, and even wildlife too sometimes. So let's revise. Above 300mm are the super telephotos. From 135mm to 300mm are the medium telephotos. From 85mm, to 135mm are the short telephotos and from 35mm to 85mm are the standard lenses. Okay, so what about the ones below 35mm? These are called wide angle lenses. For example, 35mm, 28mm, 24mm and ultra wide angle lenses like 20mm, 18mm, 14mm or 10mm too. Basically, an ultra wide angle lens's focal length is shorter than the short size of the sensor. So if we are talking about a full frame camera, an ultra wide angle lens should have a focal length shorter than 24mm. These lenses give you a wider field of view. You can use them in landscape photography, architecture photography and sometimes wildlife photography too. When you're looking for something like this. There's another interesting lens called the fish eye lens which gives you a very pronounced spherical view. These are used in abstract photography, creative shots. Now I don't have one here but just to give you an idea. This is a fisheye lens. Then there is another category created based on variable or fixed focal length. The lenses which have a variable focal length are called zoom lenses. Now zoom doesn't mean that you can zoom in a lot with this lens and have a clear view of the ring of Saturn. It only means that you can change the focal length in that same lens. You don't need a variety of lenses for different focal lengths. You have all that in one lens. For example, this 100-400 here, you can shoot anywhere from 100 to 400 and similarly this is a 200-600 it can work anywhere from 200 to 600 so both of these lenses are great if you're looking for a complete package lens for wildlife photography and you're not in a mood to invest a lot on this note let me also tell you that there are a lot of rental agencies uh, this one here is by a store called GP Pro located in Delhi I will leave the contact details in the description below now coming back to zoom lenses they can be categorized into two categories Zoom lenses with fixed aperture and zoom lenses with variable aperture. And in lenses with a fixed aperture, no matter how much you zoom in, the size of the aperture won't change. Like in this one. This is a 70-200 f2.8 lens. So the aperture will be as on what it is on f2.8 on 70mm as well as on 200mm till I don't change it. By change, I mean increasing the f number and not decreasing it because f number in this lens cannot go below 2.8. Hence, it is called a 70-200 2.8 lens. Now, the zoom lenses with variable aperture are lenses in which the size of the aperture changes with the focal length. So, for example, here is a 200-600 f5.6 to 6.3. In this lens, on 200mm, you cannot go below f5.6. 
And once you zoom in and make this lens on 600 mm, you cannot go below f 6.3. Now let's talk about prime lenses. Prime lenses are the one which have fixed focal length. You cannot change the focal length. You cannot zoom in or zoom out. In this 85 mm and this 400 mm, you cannot zoom in or zoom out. The focal length is fixed. Now you must be thinking how can a 400 mm look like this and a 600 mm look like this. That is because the size of the aperture. On this 400 mm, I can go as wide as on f2.8 and on this 600 mm, I cannot go wider than f6.3. And we know that the size of the aperture on f2.8 is way wider than on f6.3. That is also one of the reasons why fast lenses like this one here are more expensive. Now your zoom lens can be a telephoto as well as a wide angle and your prime lens can be a standard lens, a short telephoto and even a super telephoto. But what's in the name? Alright guys, thanks so much for watching the video and if you have any other topic on which you want me to make a video on, feel free to comment.